It's confirmed. Leica discontinued their APS-C line yesterday. Details coming up. But first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. It feels like the Monday after college graduation when everybody's left, but it's just you and a few other people around. It's not nearly as fun. In recent years, sales of compact and system cameras equipped with small sensors have decreased in the photography market. Cameras equipped with full-frame sensors have been performing well, and the market continues to expand. So yeah, with news like this, it certainly does feel like that Monday after graduating from college where everybody's left, but it's you and one other guy. It's, well, a little bit sad. There is hope for the future, but the fun that you had over the last four years, going to classes, eating together, and celebrating in the dorms after a long day of studying, those days are over, and shedding an APSC line, like a shedding their APSC line, is definitely one of those news items that has you going, hmm, yeah. The market is declining. We're down around five to seven million units. And while some say it's stabilizing, it's still inching downwards. What else is going to happen? Well, a couple of years ago, I said, you know, the marketplace is ripe for mergers and acquisitions. And usually they want to do this when times are a little bit better. We did have Olympus spinning off their camera division, which is now part of um, Japanese Industrial Partners Company. And I think they're going to call themselves OM System, not OM Systems, but OM System. And we could see some other divestitures in the marketplace. The reason being is the market continues to contract. And for large companies like Panasonic, which are multi-billion dollar conglomerates, they might look at, well, this is a camera division. And really, when it comes to our bottom line, they don't make a whole lot. But what about other camera div other divisions? Is there a, a synergy like their cinema line and their other cameras? And certainly, yes. And, but we don't see a lot of interaction between the divisions. So I think there's going to be some more strategic changes, changes in the marketplace. Canon is primarily an imaging company. They don't just do cameras. They do photocopiers and metal equipment and other stuff. Nikon is not as large as Canon when it comes to their different imaging products. Uh, but I don't think Nikon's going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but Panasonic, I, I, I think Panasonic has an opportunity to be a bit more strategic between their cinema cameras and their stills hybrid cameras. And what about Sony? Well, Sony is one of the largest conglomerates out there in terms of the, the, a company that makes cameras, and they don't seem to be looking to exit the marketplace anytime soon. And in fact, they seem to be doubling down, uh, and they've came out of nowhere to be number two in the marketplace. Pentax, I'm really unsure where Pentax is going to be. I wonder if Pentax is going to spin off any products. Uh, they seem to be happy doing DSLRs in a time where everybody, including Canon, has gone mirrorless. So I wonder about Pentex, but uh, yeah, I'm not predicting any companies going under or any other companies going to be shedding certain cameras, but I wonder, I wonder, what do you think? Do you think the age of the APS-C camera or Micro Four Thirds is on the way out? I asked this question as we just got a new OM-1 and a Panasonic GH6, and that Panasonic GH6, despite Panasonic's 5% worldwide sales, um, the GH6 has been selling very, very well. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But to stay up to date on the latest camera news and rumors, go ahead and choose subscribe. Make sure to choose all notification because by choosing all notification, as soon as I publish a video, you're going to get notified. So you're up to date on the latest camera news and equipment. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.